From this video, we will talk about preparing for the 100 to 160 Cisco Certified Support Technician, CCST, Cybersecurity Exam. What is the CCST Cybersecurity Certification? Why get the CCST Cybersecurity Certification? CCST Cybersecurity Exam Topics Topic 1 Essential Security Principles Topic 2 Basic Network Security Concepts Topic 3 Endpoint Security Concepts Topic 4 Vulnerability Assessment and Risk Management Topic 5 Incident Handling One. What is a common security threat in which an attacker attempts to overwhelm a targeted system by flooding it with Internet traffic? A. Ransomware B. Distributed Denial of Service DDoS Attack C. Phishing D. SQL Injection Answer B. 2. Which of the following is a common security threat that targets web applications? A. SQL injection B. DNS poisoning C. Man-in-the-middle attack D. Distributed denial of service DDoS Answer A. 3. Which of the following is a key principle of data security? A. Accessible by everyone. B. Running on outdated software. C. Encrypted during transmission. D. Stored in clear text. Answer. C. 4. A company needs to implement a security policy that restricts employee access to certain websites during work hours. Which option should the company choose to enforce this policy? A. Virtual Private Network VPN. B. Intrusion Detection System IDS. C. Firewall D. Antivirus Software Answer. C. 5. Which of the following is a best practice for implementing security policies and procedures in a network? A. Allowing all users unrestricted access to the network. B. Implementing strong password policies and enforcing regular password changes. C. Sharing administrator credentials among IT staff to streamline access. D. Allowing users to install any software on their devices. Answer. B. 6. Which cybersecurity feature helps detect and prevent unauthorized access to a network by analyzing network traffic and creating security policies based on observed patterns? A. Firewall B. Antivirus C. Intrusion Detection System D. Virtual Private Network Answer. C. 7. Which feature provides automatic threat detection and response for a network? A. Intrusion Detection System B. Firewalls 
C Virtual Private Network D Web Application Firewall Answer A 8. In a company's identity and access management system, what is the purpose of implementing multi-factor authentication, MFA? A. To provide a centralized directory for user authentication and authorization. B. To ensure that only authorized users can access protected resources. C. To enhance the security of user authentication by requiring multiple forms of verification. D. To simplify the user authentication process by reducing the number of steps. Answer. C. 9. Which of the following is a best practice for securing IoT devices? A. Regularly update the firmware. B. Disable all security features. C. Use default login credentials. D. Connect IoT devices directly to the Internet without any firewall. Answer. A. 10. Which security feature in a firewall is used to prevent unauthorized access to an internal network by filtering incoming and outgoing traffic based on a set of predefined rules? A. Intrusion Detection System, IDS. B. Intrusion Prevention System, IPS. C. Virtual Private Network, VPN. D. Access Control List, ACL. Answer. D.